I'll show them. There's no such thing as ghosts. 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 James blew his whistle. Oh, is that? Could it be? No, it isn't. Yikes! <laughs> scared you. <laughs> Stephen was so scared, he rushed backwards to the castle, so he didn't see that the drawbridge had gone back up. His driver and fireman had to jump clear. <laughs> Stephen had rolled right off the track and fallen into the dry moat. Well, that wasn't very clever now, was it? Meanwhile, Percy had delivered the mail and was puffing back to meet Stephen at the junction. But Stephen wasn't there. Oh, no. Where's Stephen? Maybe the Phantom's got him. Oh, I hope that's Stephen. But it wasn't Stephen. It was James. Percy heard the sound. Percy was very frightened. Ha-ha! <laughs> scared you! Percy was so scared, he raced away without paying any attention to the red signal. <laughs> then there was trouble. Hello, Percy. I see you found the meeting place. James wanted to tell Percy and Stephen that it was all a joke. Percy? Stephen? There was so much fog, he couldn't find them anywhere. As he puffed around the misty castle grounds alone, James started to get scared. He even started to believe his own story. Maybe there really is a Phantom Express. <gasps> and maybe it's got Percy and Stephen. James kept looking for Percy and Stephen. But when the drawbridge came down, it hid them. I think somebody must be coming. Maybe we should blow our whistles. Phantom Express! James was so frightened, he raced off as fast as he could. Ah! 